Natasha, very good morning to you. So you reconnected with an old flame. Ooh, tell us more. So, I Bungani, so we were together in school. I left in 1992. He only left in 1994. He's two years younger than me. Both went our separate ways. Both got married. Um, lived our own life. Never had any contact. Sorry, I'm a bit emotional. And um, then three years ago, my husband passed away. And three months later, his wife passed away. Um, him being 41, me being 43, both widow and widow. And we reconnected and we've been a couple ever since. Oh, wow. Yeah, oh, well, firstly, I'm sorry uh, for both your losses, <laughs> right? Um, I'm sorry for both your losses, but my goodness, what has it been like to to catch up with somebody that in many ways already knows you, but you're also a little different from who they remember? Um, there's a lot of things that is the same, but there's also a lot of things that's changed. There's um, challenges with the kids. He's got a special needs boy. I've got a special needs boy. So yeah, this it's been fun. It's been exciting. It's been a hell of a challenge. We got together during lockdown. They got kicked out of where they were living. We moved in together. We had no other option. Um, yeah, it's been an absolute roller coaster ride. But yeah, and we love each other, and that's the bottom line about it. Love and I think somehow we always have. Love will find a way, Tasha. Love Absolutely. will find a way. Well, good luck to the two of you. Good luck with your families and integrating that situation. Um, and maybe and maybe it'll bring some comfort to you after both of you losing your spouses. Fantastic call. It can work out. It can work out. Current events. Developing stories. Tough questions. Your voice making a difference. This is Breakfast with Bongani Bingwa.